Congratulations, Keith, into the playoffs. How are you feeling after that? Uh, a bit subdued. Uh, it's been a, it's been really difficult to actually get over the line. You know, even though we were chasing automatic, I think our form since Wembley has not been great. Uh, you know, and it's been very difficult managing the squad of players. But we've come together to seal our place in the playoffs, and it gives us an opportunity. You know, to see what we can do. Obviously, we've got Morecambe. Uh, but it's been difficult, it's been very difficult. Uh, and again, I, I can't put my finger on why, but you know, since Wembley, I don't think we've been great individually or great as a team. But it's good that there's enough about the players, determination wise, that we get the positive draw today that sees us into the playoffs. So it's, it's a clean slate now, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, we're optimistic, and it gives us a bit of an opportunity to get fresh um, because it has been difficult for the players as well. The relentless training, the relentless pursuit of playing Tuesday, Saturday, um, and we, we're now 12 days before our next game, I believe. And uh, we have to prepare ourselves, uh, difficult opposition. Uh, but we are pleased, there's no question about that. But there's a lot of things that need to be improved, a lot of things. And, uh, you know, it's a great to be able to start that right now. You talked before this game about, you know, the, the mentality was going to be the important thing you know, in, in this game. Clearing the heads now and, and getting the mental approach right for the, for the playoffs now, is that going to be the biggest challenge for you? The individual players have got to accept the individual responsibilities. It's not my fault. That's one thing I do know. Like, I'm here to guide the players. I'm here to support the players. Probably at the worst moments, that's my job, or it should be my job. You know, but taking responsibility for performances, taking responsibility for training every day at your maximum to make sure that you give yourself an opportunity to play, that comes down to the players, and that's got to improve. 100%. If we're going to be uh, successful in the playoffs, that has to improve. And we've got an extended season. So the players have shown that they want the season to be extended so that we can pursue promotion. So they've got to go all in. They've really got to go all in. There's got to be a unity. And there's no point in only supporting the team if you're in the starting eleven. You don't achieve any success doing that. And we've got a bit of that at the minute. I won't lie to you. You highlighted about you know the 55 goals, you know 46 league games. You know that's been a big issue for you. But James Vaughan, you know, I mean, back today. I suppose you're hopeful that with Vaughan, you fit that can we fire are. a little bit. We are. You know, for future reference, you've got to build a side that is capable of scoring between you know 60 and 70 goals, uh, and it, it can't just come from one player. And um, it's got to come from uh, all over the pitch, all over the squad. You've got to have your fullbacks who chip in with goals, central defenders. You sit in number four, edge of the box goals, wide players, substitutes. So we haven't scored enough goals to make sure that we're a real threat and a real psychological danger on the opponents. And that game tonight, today could have gone differently, 100%. You know, if you look at a few key mistakes where Joel's probably got us out of the, you know, proverbial, uh, it could have gone a whole lot different. But you know, I think that's our 90th clean sheet of the season. So, from a defensive point of view, we're getting a whole lot right. Now, we've just got to add that little bit. But having said that, we could draw, conceivably, our next three games and get promoted. I think you've lost fewer games than Morecambe, actually, but you've obviously drawn a lot more than them. So, I mean, sure, there's not a lot between sides, is there, at the top? Well, of the we've team. got 90 clean sheets. If you want to get promotion, for me, automatic promotion, you should be getting 23 league wins. We've got 20. You know, and if I'm being honest with you, I've been in charge of 33 games, league games, five months I've been here. Paul Lewis played today, and obviously, you know, the scenario during the week was, you know, is he okay or isn't he okay? I mean, you know, well, Paul wants to play, is that top model? Oh, there's too many people want too much information. I can't <laughs> tell everybody the truth all the time. Only the wife. <laughs> it's as simple as that. You know, I've got to keep my cards close to my chest. It's, it's really not fair, the intrusion from everybody. You know, and uh, sometimes the players trip themselves off on trip, trip themselves up on social media. You know, it's it's, it, it's not fair. We, we have to make sure that we we give ourselves the best opportunity of being successful. So if we have to hide the fact that Paul Lewis is fit, and we all knew that he was fit Thursday, 
you know, we had a training ground game Tuesday, which was superb, which gave me a lot of food for thought. And, you know, that's why the team selection was as it was, and that's why the substitutes materialised as the game went on. Start for Corey Blackett Taylor today. I mean, Tory sort of been impressing and pushing you to think about him now as a first choice a bit more. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out Monday. I don't know. You know, day to day. You know, uh, he's a talented, talented boy. But should he be doing more? One hundred percent and more. There's no question about that. You know, and uh, I love him to bits. I just wish he'd do more. Sometimes a bit of a fear factor when you're trying to qualify for something so, so late on in the season. Does that fear disappear now? Has that sort of come away from the know. game now we get to the playoffs? I, I really don't know. You know, for me, the biggest fear of all is, you know, not taking the risk. You, you have to risk a certain amount if you're going to be successful. You have to risk everything, put everything on the line in, you know, the game that's coming up. And it won't be the first leg, it'll be the second leg. Um, and we're hopeful. Well, we're going to prepare to score goals. We're going to prepare to defend like we always have done. And then it's over to the players to perform and realise that it's only a game of football. And when you look at Morecambe, obviously, I mean, you, you, know, you, you won the, you know, in, the, in the league this season, didn't you? A certain sort of thing. I mean, you know, aside to respect, but not to fear? Respect to everybody, you know, and respect. You've got to, there's got to be a certain amount of self-respect, and that's the way that you work. And then you respect your teammates. You respect the staff, you respect the, the campus that we train on, so you tidy up after yourselves and you make sure you're there for as long as it is necessary to improve yourself every day. And uh, then you start respecting the referee, the opponents, the league, and then you start feeling better about yourself and you become successful when people realise then that you are to be respected because you've got self-respect. And you know how the full the club felt about you know, being demoted perhaps rather than relegated last season so you know, there's a big big prize at the end of this and something really to play for now isn't it you know, you know two three games to go you know it could be a, a great end to the season so it's something to look forward to Peter. lost 18 games last season you know the club was demoted because they lost 18 games not because they won three on the bounce but there is something really 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 exciting to challenge this group of players about and that's getting promoted uh, to league one we heard a lot about sort of you know, how disappointed they were at Forest Green last week. What's been the mood in the dressing room coming off there today? Are, are they excited now? Could you tell sort of coming off? Yeah, we've made the playoffs. Uh, well, I don't think it's an achievement in itself. You know, uh, it's a, it's an achievement with respect to having another opportunity. Um, you know, it's been a very very difficult season for the players, for the fans, for everybody associated with you know Tranmere and. and you know, the league itself. We played Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. I think, what's that, 59 games now this, this season? It's a lot of games, you know, and we're challenging for three more, and we want three more. And, you know, I, I'm hungry, I'm desperate, I'm ambitious, and but I, I find myself sitting on my hands, not saying what I want to say, just for fear of offending somebody, you know, but the truth. I'm finding myself falling out with modern day society because I must belong in a different era. I, I really do, because to speak the truth is so easily to be a, a, to offend people, you know. And, and the fact of the matter is, I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm just being truthful, honest. And looking forward to the fact there might be some fans here for the oh the yes, leg. I mean that would be great. Won't Bring have fans it on. Back inside for those important games. Superb, you know. The players they need to hear a different voice than mine on the sidelines. I really hope that we can get as many fans in as we possibly can. I want to hear them cheering. I want to hear them moaning. I want to hear them groaning. I want the players to realise what pressure is, positive pressure, and a little bit of negative pressure as well. That's good. I'm going to take your injury update to a pinch of salt going forward. <laughs> <laughs> After you uh, threw me a curveball on Thursday, I think. But just uh, on James Warning, it did look like he was just grabbing his groin near the end of the game. Is did he, he okay? I don't know if you noticed I'm that. Not, I've not spoken to him on it. I, I catch up with the medical team. The players will catch up with the medical team in the next 24 hours. A lot of the time, they'll go to bed, they wake up, they might feel a little bit of pain somewhere and they'll be in touch with the medics. So they're doing a great job and they've done a great job to get Vaughan in a position where you know, it looks as though he could be available for a little bit more than the last 20 minutes now. Uh, you, gave, you gave the impression on Thursday that you might go with a tried and, uh, tried and tested formula, but 
through another surprise for me bringing Corey back into the side. Mm. Is that purely down to the element of risk that you were talking about in the game? Well, I thought he was superb today and sometimes, uh, you know, the lack of fear from him. And uh, we played a game on Thursday, um, a starting seven against the 11 and we won one nil. And uh, Corey was instrumental in that one nil win on the training pitch. And uh, I think if you can give him a little bit of freedom, as long as he makes big impacts. So uh, if he makes big impacts, it's worth the uh, compensation, if you like. You know, but unless it's in our favour, positive equity, there is absolutely no point in starting him. But at this moment in time, he's in positive equity with me because he's performed today. We've had moments. We probably could have done a little bit better from those moments, but he's run out of steam. And when we've got the likes of Kane Woolery, who probably needed a rest, and James Vaughan to come on, it gives us plenty of options, possibly going into the last three games of the season. Scoring a goal obviously would have made life a lot easier. Uh, for Tram here today, but at, at what point in that match do you think to yourself, right, we've just got to shut up shop here and, and get the job done? Uh, we didn't. You know, we're always searching. It might not have looked like it on the uh, on the eye, but we're always trying to score. Uh, but while we're trying to score, you know, we have to make sure that we're set defensively. And I thought we were set defensively today, but for our own mistakes that possibly could have led to goal scoring opportunities for the opponents, we had one or two near opportunities in the first half. We should have done better in the second half with building, you know, but the players they just looked a little bit tired. Maybe that's mental tiredness more than physical tiredness because they're still covering the distance. But maybe it is time to bring, you know, Nia Kirby back into the equation because he's fresh. Ali Crawford, you know, and, and maybe now, you know, with the 12 days that we've got, it might freshen one or two of the older players. And we have got quite an aging squad and probably mentally, Freshen up the likes of Callum McDonald, who's had a long, long season, played a lot of games. You know, so there's everything to look for, but we'll see a response and a spark from the players, you know, as we go forward in training and we'll select a side to do our best as we possibly can against Morecambe. Yeah, in between um, pushing for an automatic promotion place to getting in at the, basically the bottom place of the players, there's been a lot of pressure on the players, hasn't there? Um, no. Is it, well, maybe to me, but. Um, few verbals exchanged between a few players near the end of the game. Is that just the pressure of that situation then or a few play, players not on the same page? I think the so, but they shouldn't be offended. They should not be offended. They've got to take it with a pinch of salt. This is high octane. People want to be successful. I don't think you can be successful and have a mild nature. Now, you know, I, I've got to go home and de-energise myself somehow because I can't physically go out there and fight on behalf of the players. Verbally I can but sometimes it just gets in the way. But the players verbally fighting, no, it's coming from the right, right source, the source of a winner. You know, so if they're exchanging, they've got to exchange and move on very quickly. Anyone who harbours anything doesn't belong in the sporting arena because it's really, really difficult and there is words that need to be said. You're getting that with Jay Spearing, aren't you? You're getting yes. that. that you know, he's setting examples to other players. He challenges. He's got a right to challenge. He's got the experience. He's got the knowledge. He's got the know -how. And people should listen. And they are listening. And I'm listening. And uh, we're excited about the prospects. But anyone who gets offended, they shouldn't be on the journey. So I think we've got this 12 days now until, until this first leg. Do you see that as a, as a benefit to this Tramia team and to yourself, maybe just a little bit of time to, to relax from this situation and, and, and get going again for the playoffs? Well, I can't relax. The staff can't relax. who have been magnificent, by the way. And uh, the players can relax and switch off because somebody always wants something from me every day of the week, 24-7. You know, whether it's a player, whether it's the press, whether it's the staff, you know, and even when I go home, I've got to take care of the family. But with respect to football, it's something that we really enjoy embracing, you know, taking the pressure off the players. But I think that result's probably taking the pressure off the players. And hopefully, we'll get a bit more freedom and uh, we'll get a little bit better performances. Because, like I said, I don't think the performances of this team have been anywhere near since Wembley, where they could have been and should have been. And that's not because of James Vaughan. That's because they've eased off, eased off in training and eased off on matches where they probably think they're good enough to win games. 
You've got to make sure you step on every opportunity that you get to improve. And you cannot let a potent opponent breathe. We've got to make sure that we run all over the opponent and then our football will take care of itself. You've defended your players on several occasions after results. Is this a slight change of approach? No. They know exactly what the demands are to play in a team for me. And I'm supporting these players. There's no question about that. Every day there's getting our support as a staff and the support of the fans and the support of the chairman, the board of directors. And it's important that we realise that. And we now have an opportunity to really, really grasp it over the next two games at least.